Hey, what's up guys, Gratuitous here. In this course, you're, you guys are gonna be learning about how to get hands-on mixing. Now, this is a motorized fader and we are not using this in this course. We are actually getting hands-on mixing with a MIDI keyboard, okay? I just wanna quickly put this at the beginning of the intro video because I have always wanted to get hands-on mixing in FL Studio and I even went to the point of buying an expensive unit like this, thinking I could get hands-on mixing with motorized faders and I thought it was so cool. But something like this is not set up very well for a good workflow in FL Studio. I always found like I kept having to go back to my mouse, okay? This course is going to teach you off of your MIDI keyboard how to get hands-on mixing. Like, no, we do not have motorized faders on our MIDI keyboards. But the approach I teach you, you just switch over your different banks. You're going to get a great experience. So let's hop into the course intro video where I break down about the MIDI keyboard and how to get hands-on mixing, okay? All right, welcome to my course here about hands-on mixing in FL Studio. So uh, right here I have the M-Audio Oxygen Pro MIDI keyboard. This is what I uh, recommend if you're using FL Studio at the moment. I'm creating this course uh, July 14th, 2022, just to give you an idea. But every MIDI keyboard works pretty much the same way when it comes to hands-on mixing with FL Studio when it comes to your different banks, okay? And so... Let me just break that down for you. So mainly what we are going to focus on is on fab filter plugins, but I will also make another uh, little bonus video about FL Studio stock plugins. It's essentially the same thing. Like essentially we are learning how to set up global links to our sliders and our knobs, and you can use your banks to go across multiple knobs and sliders. Okay. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. But what happens is when we go to the next bank, and again, I just have them color coded. So now I know I'm on the second bank. Now I know I'm on the third bank. Now, I'm, now I know I'm on the fourth bank, okay? So we're on the first bank. We, and then again, that's one to eight. We go to the next bank, that's nine to 16. Go to the next bank, that's 17 to 24. We go to the next bank, that's 25 to 32. So you actually have 32 knobs. And then these MIDI keyboards have what's called soft takeover. And if you just look right here, okay, we're just going to zoom in right here. And so what that's going to do is when we go to the, to, to the different banks, and I'll just use this knob as an example. So you can see that I'm moving the slider and right here, it's still moving, but there's a little bit of a grayed out part. And I'll try to zoom in a little bit more, but you can see that there's a grayed part and then there's here. And so this is what's called soft takeover. So in order for this MIDI keyboard to work, and now I'm just going to pull back so you can see my knob. Uh, so once I reach that, now the now this knob kicks in. OK, now you can actually see the numbers moving. If I go to another bank, you can see that when we increase and decrease this, the little grayed out part right here, it's a, you know, it's a little bit of a different color. You can see that the 38 is not moving until we reach what it was previously at on the other bank. And there you go. OK, so don't worry, uh, I'm going to break down everything you need to know for how to get hands on mixing here in FL Studio. It's a really, really enjoyable workflow. Again, I am going to be focusing on fab filter plugins because that's what I use to teach. You do not need fab filter plugins because the approach is going to work for most plugins. Every single plugin is just a little bit different. But um, yeah, I really think you're going to get a really good fun experience in FL Studio if you want that hands on mixing. Now, the con of this is these are not motorized faders, and that's why you have to use that soft takeover, which I just showed you. And most MIDI keyboards have that built in. Uh, again, this is the M Audio Oxygen Pro. Uh, you do not need this MIDI keyboard, but that is just for you to know as we go out, go along in this course. So just a quick recap, I'm going to show you how to do hands on mixing in, inside of FL Studio to get a pretty good experience now it's not perfect like it's not like you see like in the real mixing consoles but you are able to get a really good experience when you're using fab filter plugins so if you want to learn how to get hands on we are going to be using what's called global links we will we will be doing it over the different banks i'm going to show you how to set up knobs and uh knobs and sliders for a really good workflow that actually really allows you to listen to the music and get hands on and it just gives you a different approach when you're mixing your music, okay? So if you're interested, enroll, and I will show you how to set this up inside the course.